What's going on everyone? So today, a continuation of the series here on the channel called Gimme 5, where I go over one of my favorite top brands in the fragrance world and give you guys my five favorite choices from that particular brand. This whole series started a few years ago, I wanna say maybe five years ago when I started with Chanel, but the original men's line in this particular video today we're talking about Chanel but the Liz exclusives guys if you want to know my favorite five Liz exclusives that you should get your nose on stick around I'm doing it right now welcome back to another video ladies and gents today of course Liz exclusives by Chanel which you guys know very well it's one of the most iconic and known brands to man like the coca-cola you know of drinks or the Rolex of watches you talk about Chanel number five everybody knows associated with Marlene Monroe. Little briefing here on Chanel. So Chanel started into the fashion industry in the 1910s by Coco uh, Chanel, as she was so affectionately called by her close friends, you know, Coco. Gabrielle Chanel started in the fashion industry at about 1910, and right about in the 1920s, she started to dab into the perfume world. And right around 1921, Chanel number no. five was introduced in the market. The rest, as they say, is history because that fragrance is such an iconic fragrance so revolutionary that to this day in 2021 it is one of the most sold fragrances worldwide today of course we're talking about the liz exclusive collection which i do love there are a ton of great fragrances in this house it's really hard to pick just five but i find myself always reaching out to these five so it's safe to say that these are the five that are my favorites and i think this is going to be a little bit on a you know countdown style i'll go from number five all the way to number one which is the one that i reach out for the most and of course the one that i'm mostly uh enchanted with so without any further blabber let's get into my top five favorite list exclusives of all time number five spot here is going to go to this particular fragrance which is going to be a lavender based scent a lot of people call this a neo fougere or a new style fougere type of a scent and i would agree with that this is going to be boy chanel boy is going to be a semi powdery fragrance uh the lavender here is quite predominant i love the scent um find myself wearing this for dressier occasions perhaps kind of like what i'm wearing today when i really want to uh smell elegant and sophisticated. I think the two key words here are going to be elegant and sophisticated. Even though it's lavender, quote unquote, neo fougere type of a scent, I think a lady could pull this off perfectly. It is very well balanced with some floral components, but it's going to be a little bit powdery. And again, the lavender is going to be the star player here. Love this stuff. And what I particularly love about Boy from Chanel is that it has some really cool uh, nuances that I love here, which is going to be the heliotrope, which adds this nice almondy kind of a facet to the fragrance. There's definitely some moss here, which contributes to some green uh, nuances, as well as coumarin, or you want to call it tonka, you can, which will add a little bit of a sweetness touch to the fragrance. Everything very well balanced, very well put together, very elegant and very sophisticated. Boy Chanel, my fifth and most favorite Chanel exclusives in this countdown today. I'm gonna try this, guys. Please don't crucify me. I'm not a French speaking person. Uh, 31 Rue Cambon, or 31 um, Rue Street. Now this particular fragrance here, a great floral green, very aromatic scent. And by the way, all the fragrances here on this list are going to be the EDT formulation. I was lucky enough to be able to get these fragrances when they were released. So these are all older bottles in the Eau de Toilette concentration, which I think is far better than the current Eau de Parfum, which are still good, but they're not gonna be as pungent, as strong as these older EDT. But anyway, conversation for a different video. So 31 Rue Cambon is going to be this great, very aromatic, green notes, black pepper, some rose, iris, ylang ylang, patchouli, and cistus flower here. Now, what I love about cistus flower is that it has this very pungent, musky, animalistic undertone, which is almost like a fougere style type of a scent. So I would describe this as a green fougere meets floral. Ylang ylang, rose, you know, all the floral components. The iris here is very beautiful. You know, one word to describe this, this is a stunning, beautiful, or very enigmatic type of a fragrance. Very pragmatic. I love this stuff, and I think that this here is great for men and women. It's going to smell very sophisticated, very elegant, very well put together. It's going to be long-lasting, very powerful. It's something that you don't need more than two to three sprays. You're going to project, you're going to radiate this beautiful uh, melange of uh, green floral slash almost you know, musky kind of a kind of, kind of undertone. I love this stuff, definitely one of my favorites, hands the fact. Number fourth spot in the best of what the list exclusives has to offer, in my humble opinion. At the third spot, this particular one, you guys know how much I love my leather, so I had to have a leather here. Less exclusives has a great, skanky, animalistic, pungent, strong, 
powerful leather fragrance for you guys. If you love leather, this is one that you have to try. You must not dismiss this fragrance, guys. And it's gonna be Cure de Russie from Chanel or Russian Leather. Cure de Russie has been around for quite a while. You know, this one here in particular is the EDT from 2007 that was, you know, introduced here in the Les Exclusives collection. Very dark juice. This is, I would consider this a leathery, animalistic kind of a fragrance. It is leathery, but it is very, very pungent. Oh, it's nice. I love this stuff. It's very powerful, very strong, long lasting. What I like to call this fragrance is one of those scents that's a CEO boss type of a fragrance. You wear this fragrance, you walk into a room, they're gonna know you mean business. It's one of those scents, not for everyone, not for the faint of heart. You need to really love skanky, leathery, pungent, dark, you know, unapologetic kind of scents to appreciate this one. Mandarin orange, uh, jasmine rose, ylang ylang, and birch wood are some of the notes here. Of course, the animalistic leather, I think there's some civet in here as well, along with that beautiful dark leather accord. Just an outstanding fragrance, stunning, one of the best leather fragrance of all time. I go as far as saying that this is going to sit at my top five favorite leathers. You know what? Sh strike that reverse. This is one of my top three favorite leathers of all time, guys. Cure de Russie from Chanel. Incredible. I was hard pressed, guys, to choose these five, and these last two were very, very tough. They easily interchangeable. They're de definitely my favorite two. In fact, one of those, I'm actually on my second bottle. That's how much I love it. But I have to tell you guys, some of these less sleeves could be very expensive, especially if you want to try to find some of the older EDT formulations. You're talking $500 plus. So what I would suggest and recommend you guys before you cough up the dough, go to perfume.com, which is the partner of the channel here, and you can try any of the top five year choices that I'm sharing with you today. And of course, dozens of others less exclusives that you wanna try for a very cheap and affordable price. And the cool thing is it comes in a little pouch like this, you know, perfume uh, from perfume.com, and you can choose any size you want to try and live with that scent to make sure you actually love it, it agrees with your body chemistry, and you're satisfied with the scent altogether before committing to a full and expensive, you know, bottle for yourself. So perfume.com, details below. There's a code going on right now, Max10, which will rent you guys 10% off at checkout. So let's go with my top two choices here. And you also know that Chanel cannot be found at discount websites. So you can either, you know, purchase retail or get a decant to try it before you buy it. Anyway, guys, second choice here, really hard, interchangeable here with the first choice. Could have easily been number one. You guys know how much I love vetiver. When you talk vetiver, there's only one fragrance that comes to mind when it comes to Chanel, and it is, of course, Sycamore. Now, this is fire, guys. Again, this could have easily been my number one choice. This is my second bottle. I had an Eau de Parfum 200 ml, which I completely destroyed and went through it. And I was lucky enough to find an EDT first formulation of Sycamore, so I jumped on it. I wear this very gingerly because whatever is out today, the juice is not going to be as dark and it's not going to be as long-lasting of a vetiver scent, as smoky, almost boozy, which is what I get with Sycamore. It's a great boozy vetiver that's spicy and smoky. Here's the deal, guys. If you know, of course, Olivier Poge, the in-house perfumer, got together with one Christopher Sheldrake, which happens to be the perfumer who was responsible for some of the masterpieces of this world from Serge Luton. So they got together and they made this fragrance, which is also a masterpiece from Chanel, guys. We're talking spices, aldehydes, pink pepper, sandalwood, tobacco, which is like a blonde, you know, floral tobacco that you get here, violet leaf, vetiver, and of course, green cypress. This is an outstanding fragrance. Again, it's not gonna be one for everyone, but if you want, it's almost boozy. There's like this this almost rum accord that I get here, the blonde tobacco, the violet leaf, gorgeous vetiver, guys. Smoky, you know, very powerful, very pungent. Another CEO boss type of scents. Definitely in my top three favorite vetiver fragrances of all time. Sycamore, Les Exclusives Chanel, a must grab. Now the first choice here, the number one, my favorite Les Exclusives was released right around the same time as Sycamore, surprisingly. And the perfumers here were also Christopher Sheldrake along with Olivier Poche. So nothing more than a masterpiece, guys. This is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. I think I did, uh, you know, 10 for Life and this was definitely on there. If you like patchouli, creamy sandalwood and white chocolate, by now you should know I'm talking about none other than Coromandel from Chanel. This is the EDT formulation. I'm sad my bottle is almost gone, but this is absolutely stunning masterpiece juice. Spices. Creamy sandalwood, gorgeous earthy patchouli, white chocolate accord. This is just supple. It's, you know, elegant, sensual. It's one of those fragrances, guys, that 
If you're looking for one fragrance to definitely stand out in the crowd and, and just smell heavenly, look no further, guy. This is your juice right here, Coromandel from Chanel. This stuff is absolutely a masterpiece. There's also a little floral vibe here that you're gonna get with iris, rose, and jasmine. But all in all, a fantastic fragrance, guys. All five fragrances here, amazing for a gentleman or a lady to pull off. You're gonna smell incredible. These are incredible quality, incredible performance, amazing smelling for the first spray all the way to the dry down. So let me know in the comments, what is your favorite Liz Exclusives of all time? Your top three, top five, whatever you wanna share with me, let me know. Let me know if you like my choices. Did I miss you know, something that should have definitely been in this top five? Let me know in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to read them. And of course, guys, if you appreciate the channel, if you appreciate what I do here, don't forget to show me your support. Leave me a like, subscribe for more, share this video, comment, of course, subscribe for a lot more, hit the bell icon so you get these videos straight into your feed. And as always, remember guys, fragrance is an extension of you are. It's supposed to elevate your style. It's the ultimate final accessory. So choose your fragrances wisely. And of course, wear them well. I'll see you guys right back here again very soon. Take care.